Oh, wow. Okay, they're going everywhere. All right. Hey guys, Alex here with Deckmaster Cards and today I'm reviewing the White Knuckle Playing Cards from the US Playing Card Company. It's not going to be a very lengthy review because there's not much to say about these cards. What's really amazing about these cards and why a lot of people like them is because they're completely 100% hand drawn and they're all custom. Nothing about them screams standard bicycle except for maybe the stock and the finish. So first things first, let's get started. Let's look at the box. On the top, we don't really have anything. Uh, it says WK, I think, under the seal, but I can't really tell. No idea what that stands for. Uh, probably, probably the initials of the artist. On the bottom it says Poker 110, printed in USA. On the sides we got the URL for the white knuckle cards, and on the other side we have the URL for the, I think, the artist's website. I have no idea. We have the back of the cards on the back of the deck. And on the front we just have white knuckle new standard playing card with three kings and two jacks displayed. These do come in two different colors. I have one of them right here. I believe the other one instead of red, it has purple. Not sure though, but I do like this color more. So. Alright, so let's open these up. Um, right away, you'll see these crazy looking backs. I personally hate the way the backs look on this deck. And the reason is, is because you would think the four different colors would make an excellent fanning deck, but it doesn't because of the thick, thick, thick white borders. On top of that, um, it's got this weird little design with the lines here, the white lines, and it looks ugly as hell because even though it's intricate and very detailed, it looks just so busy and clustered and ah, I don't like the backs on this deck at all. But where I do have to admit the design is absolutely jaw-dropping are the fronts. And this is why. Every single card in the deck has a custom design to it. Every single pip, I don't know if you could see it on the camera there, but it has its own little intricate design inside of the pip. And it's different for every single card. So the seven of diamonds, the pips are going to have a different design inside of them than the eight of diamonds, for example. On top of that, this deck does use the same stock and finish as standard bikes. But what is different is these do seem like a much crisper white. The colors in this deck contrast much better. Um, let's take a look at the face cards. Now I'm not going to go through every face card in the deck, but I will point out that every single face card is just as beautiful as the one I'm going to show. And it's just the first one I came to. It is the Queen of Hearts, and you can tell it's completely custom, hand drawn. Apparently over 5,000 hours of work went into making this deck. And what's really amazing about it, if you look at the design on each face card, it's got the suit of the card hidden in various locations on the design. This deck, in terms of how it looks, is absolutely jaw-dropping. Um, like I said, the backs stink, but the fronts are just so amazing that, I mean, any collector has to have this in their collection. Alright, so let's take a look at the handling. I'm going to move that, and let's just spread them out. Um, you do get decent spreads. Like I said, it's the same air cushion finish as bicycles as well as the same stock, so you're not going to see too much of a difference in terms of how they handle. What is weird about them, though, is that they do feel a little bit smoother than the standard air cushion decks. And I'm not sure why that is. I will say this, though. Um, the handling beyond spreads starts to falter a little bit. In terms of fans, this deck is pretty bad. Right out of the box it was having trouble fanning. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys an example of the fans. That is a fan with this deck. Not the best. Most bicycle decks do tend to fan worse and worse very quickly, but this deck just right out of the box started to suck and I have no idea why. Um, like I said, even though it's the same air cushion finish used with bicycles, they do feel a little smoother and it looks like the air pockets, I don't know, what something about these cards is just, it's just not very good for handling. Even in cuts, the cards are so slippery that you can't really do any good cuts because the cards are just going everywhere. Um, one last thing I did want to point out that I forgot to mention earlier, the ace designs are all custom. Um, every single ace is basically like another ace of spades in terms of the fact that they have their own little cool design. And the deck does come with a card that describes the white knuckle playing cards as well as a blank face card. 
you should have a deck of these, like any collector should, but I would not buy these cards by the brick at all. I mean, oh wow, okay, they're going everywhere. All right, to sum up, I mean, there's good stuff, bad stuff, but the worst thing is the handling, the back designs are horrible. I would not buy a whole bunch of these, but that's it. I'll see you guys next time. This is Deckmaster Cards. Peace out.